It's very cool to have you here on the show. I know you don't do these kind of things a lot, so thank you for, for being here. Love First of all, you. thank you, sir. If you couldn't no. hear what he said, he just said, I love you, Conan. Now, uh, <laughs> sound in the audience. Get to do this. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're, first of all, there's so much to talk about, but you're, you're, God. <laughs> Got to regain control of this show, but how? <laughs> how? Um, your books are, are known for their sort of, their, their, their dark substance. They're very original, but they have a, you know, sort of a dark quality, to say the least. When you give readings, people have been known to pass out. Some people th even throw up during the readings of your, when you do it, and that's not, I'm not even kidding about that, that's, that's true, is that, is that not correct? 36 people this year on tour, and eight of those people were in Italy in hearing it in Italian, which was great. It was the best compliment of all time. Well, what are you talking, you're, you're, you're reading from a story, or you're reading from a selection of your work, and it's, it's so disturbing to them that what do they do? They, they just keel over? Oh, they pee their pants sometimes. They stand in line to get a book signed for two or three hours with their pants wet. I do not want to be standing next to that person. Right, And then right. I have to shake their hand. But right. They laugh, they pass out. Two people have gone to the hospital. It's just amazing. Now, now your, your, pub <laughs> your publisher really actually get, got upset with you at one point, because I would think getting that kind of, I mean, you're getting such a strong reaction, it means you're doing something right, obviously, but your publisher was not happy when at one of these signings, people started to fall over, pass out, need oxygen. During the signing, they actually, uh, they got upset. Is that right? It was a young man at Columbia University, the Rune Arledge <laughs> Concert Hall. It was enormous. It was like 2,000 students. This man falls backwards, falls forwards, <laughs> falls on the floor, vomits, starts to aspirate his vomit, starts to bark like a dog while he's passed out. At that point, the publishing people come to the foot of the stage and they say, uh, Chuck, over here. They say, do not read another word of this story. Go right to Q&A. You've done enough damage. I have to go back to the podium while the paramedics are taking this poor, barking, choking man out. And I have to say, who wants to hear the rest of the story? And it's 2,000 hands, everyone except for the Random House people. So I finished the story. And it went fine. By the way, just me interviewing you has called has caused Molly Sims to just start just this interview. What is your problem? Are you OK? So sorry, I'm going to. Heimlich, I mean, he hasn't said anything <laughs> shocking at all, and you're just. No, I took a drink, and he was like, "By the way, I have mono," and I, I started. <laughs> Wait a minute. That guy jokes. Wait. And I'm so sorry. You have mono? No, I, that was. No, but I was like, I, it was I, a I, joke I, on a ride. I, I double my drink, and I started choking. Can I drink now? Yeah, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I got mono from her and Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't. I'm sorry, I was just joking. You want mono? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I thought it was so cool to have you on. We're gonna find out all these amazing things, and then I look said what's I happened. Scare you. If I hadn't killed all that time up front, think of all the time we'd have now. I apologize. It's the it's that joke I did about McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> He refers to his four teeth as the Fab Four. <laughs> now, that, it's winning them over now. Um, now, what kind of stuff specifically are you reading that's causing people to get so upset? Like, what were you reading in that instance? It's, it's a funny story about three ways that masturbation can go wrong. And the first one is very funny, and the second one two. is very funny. I know, too. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious about the third, but it can kill you. It can kill you? It, can ki it almost killed somebody I met in a sexual sex addict support group while I was researching a book. And so these are three true stories that I heard from sex addicts. And so these are true stories about how masturbation can cause uh, great harm, and they were so disturbing that... They're hilarious stories. <laughs> They're fantastic stories. Undoubtedly. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you ha I, I want to... Is that in the latest book? That's in a... <laughs> It'll be in Playboy magazine next oh, year. Good, okay. Could save my life. Now, uh, Fight Club is probably your best known uh, uh, work. And that was, it, it's delicate cause and effect, but because Fight Club was so popular, and, and, and really the, the central idea was people getting together and just fighting each other as a way, I guess, of you know, getting closer to something real, uh, that popularized Fight Clubs across America. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Brigham Young University had as many as 7,000 Mormons beating on each other. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah. The they, won't, they won't drink coffee, but... 
Let some coffee, I can't have it. Now let's trip to the waste and beat the crap out of each other. <laughs> and the governor's son got arrested for running a fight club in a temple of Mormon, a Mormon temple. Right. In Provo, Utah. Right. So that's a great compliment too. Right. <laughs> so you've caused vomiting. <laughs> You've almost killed Molly Sims here. Uh, and now you've got Mormons beating each other in the temple. It's great. Uh, the book, Diary, uh, is, uh, is in bookstores now. And uh, I, I hope you'll come back sometime, because there's a lot more to talk about. And uh, is that possible? You think you'd ever come back? Um, yeah, next year. Ask me back. I'd love to, please. <laughs> Fight Club right now, pal. Oh, wait, that hurt even standing up. Chuck Polinick, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.